Hello everyone, I go by Emerald Glow and I am so excited for today's look because I'm trying out the Frida Kahlo palette for the first time. I actually got this as a gift, so thanks Thea! Frida Kahlo is one of my favorite artists and she has become a global symbol for female empowerment. Now today's look is inspired by the color scheme of Van Gogh's sunflower paintings. Specifically this one with the blue background and yellow vase. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Now, without further ado, I've already cleansed my face and now I'm going in with a toner. Then I'm moisturizing with my Olay face lotion with SPF in it. And remember to always bring the products down to your neck. Now I'm priming my lids with my NYX concealer in a lighter shade than my own in order to give a light base. And then I'm blending that in with my beauty blender. And this is really going to make the colors that we're going to use pop. And I'm setting that with a light nude and white shade. Now I'm taking a medium tan shade in order to sculpt the lid for this look. And I'm starting off with a fluffy brush, that way it'll blend nicely. I'm basically framing my eyes with a sideways V, going from my lid and up my crease toward my nose. I do this in small circular motions, that way you don't see a clean cut line. Now I'm going in with a fluffy angled brush and the shade Lava and I'm tracing over the shape that I just made in order to make it deeper. And now I'm blending that out with whatever is left on the fluffy brush. And with the same brush, I'm taking the shade Adobe and going right back over the same crease that we made. This is really going to warm up the area and prepare for the yellow that we're going to do. And I am blending this out a lot more liberally. And finally, I'm going in with a flat brush into the shade Sol, and I am just pressing that into the lid area. And I am over tracing the lid a little bit in order to give a brighter and fresh look. And now I'm going in with the yellow shade in my ColourPop palette. I'm only going in on this in the front half of my lid. And now I'm going in more precisely with an angled brush that I spritz with my base mist. And I'm tracing the inner edge of the lid that I made with the same ColourPop yellow. And I fill her in. And I decided to extend the lid line further into the orange part. I'm taking a shader brush and going back into the sole shade and just doing another layer to see how bright this baby can go. other side. Now I'm taking a denser fluffy brush and going into Adobe 
and I'm just outlining that first crease that we made in the beginning. This means that I'm going over the bottom part of the yellow, which will erase the clear line between the yellow and orange. I'm taking a pencil brush and dipping into Adobe and Amour at the same time to deepen that crease. And I'm going in small circles on the top of my lash line. Then I take whatever product is left and drag that up toward the top part of the V. With the same brush, I'm going into Adobe, Amour, and Lava. And I really want to deepen that crease even more. Now with no product on my fluffy brush, I'm going back over everything to really blend that out. taking a flat shader brush and going back into Adobe to put it in the center of my lid between the yellow and the deep brown that we made. This is just so that the orange element isn't lost in between all the contouring and it serves to deepen that yellow. It makes the yellow look a lot brighter. And blending that out again with our fluffy brush. I'm spraying my small brush with my face mist and going into the shade Muse to add a baby glow. I'm tracing the inner corner of the lid and just the outer edge. I'm not taking this anywhere else on the lid, I'm just tracing. I'm taking a deep brown liquid liner and I am extending the bottom lash line and then connecting to the halfway point of my lid. Now I am making this liner a little bit more round because I don't want it to be too edge-like. Remember, we're trying to be sunflowers, channeling the delicate little flowers in a vase. Glow bright or go home. That Muse shade was not doing it for me, so I'm going in with a gold liner from Sephora and tracing over it. Now that we're done with the lid, I'm cleaning up the edges with some micellar water on a Q-tip. To begin the face, I'm taking a primer and going in my T-zone. This primer has little shimmers in it, so it'll really help with the skin glow. I'm taking my foundation and evenly dotting it around my face. Now blend that baby out. As always, do not forget the neck. I'm taking this peach color corrector and going beneath the inner corners of my eyes. Then I blend that out with my finger for the most opaque color payoff. I'm taking this Be Bright concealer and going underneath my eyes. I'm taking my NYX concealer to brighten and highlight my under eyes. Then I take my Be Bright concealer and go in my T-zone, so my chin, nose, forehead, and upper lip. Then I lightly dot my NYX concealer over it. And blend.
for my under eye, I go underneath my eye, toward my ear, and then down the sides of my nose. I'm actually gonna do a little bit of baking today. So I'm taking my loose face powder and really packing that on, on the sides of my nose, underneath my eye, and lighter on my chin, upper lip, nose, and forehead. While that's baking, I'm taking my denser face brush and putting my cream contour on one side of it to trace from my ear toward my lips. Then I flip the brush over and blend that in. I am focusing a lot of the product right on the center of my cheekbone. This is going to make my face look slimmer. And as I get closer to my lips, I brush the product down toward my chin. And again on the other side. Fun fact, I actually went to the Van Gogh Museum in Amsterdam and I absolutely loved it. Honestly, I love every single museum. Now I'm going into my jawline with the same contour and going a little bit higher than the edge of my jawline toward my ear. I am also going in with the same contour on my temples and the edges of my forehead. This is going to make the face look longer and more slender. Now I get my fluffy face brush and wipe off that powder. pencil brush again and going into Adobe for my lower lash line and I'm focusing this product really in the center of my lash line now I'm taking a more and putting that on the outer corner of my lash line and here comes that gold liner again and this time I'm putting it on the inner corner of my lower lash line. The shimmer here is going to really add to the bright, fresh flower look. And I'm spritzing my small brush and going into the ColourPop yellow. And I'm placing that right in my inner corner. And I'm dipping into my highlighter Lunch Money and going over the yellow that I just put. Then I blend it out and go a little bit into the lid as well. Curl those lashes. Put on that mascara. Put it on the lower lash line. Curl those lashes. Put on that mascara. Put on more mascara. This is Benefit Roller Lash Mascara, and I'm using this to really separate my lashes and lengthen. I'm taking a nude liner and going on my lower lash line, and I'm also bringing that out to right beneath the liner. Brows, brows, brows. Brush those suckers up. I'm using this brush cleaner that came with the Frida Kahlo palette and I'm loving it. No yellow. All right, I'm getting my brow pomade and tracing the bottom line of my brows. 
my brows are not done right now but we're gonna make them look like they are so then I go upward into hair like strokes and I do more in the middle of my brow and the end of my brow and then I keep it sparse and more natural in the front I'm also outlining the top of the back half of the eyebrow only because when I outline the front, it just looks a little too boxy for me. And the other side. Now I'm gonna slick those suckers up with a nice little tinted brow gel. I'm taking a small flat brush and dipping that into my concealer, the lighter shade, and I'm tracing the bottom line ever so slightly of my brow just to highlight that. I begin in the middle of my brow, which is the part that I want to be the brightest, and then I drag the rest of the product toward the front and the back of my brow. Then I use whatever is left on the brush and blend downward. I begin by blending downward so that it starts to blend in with the eyeshadow. I don't want a harsh line beneath my brows, so I'm really blending that in. Bums, bums, beats, beats. Blush, blush, blush. I'm combining the orange and peach shades from the Light Elf palette. I begin by placing the product where I want it to be on my cheek. Then I wipe off all the excess. You could do this on a towel, not your arm, but whatever. And then I blend that in to my cheek. And my other cheek. I'm putting a decent amount because we want to look like we were frolicking in a sunflower field. Scratch that, we are the sunflowers. Then I'm going into lunch money and I'm just placing that on my cheek over the blush that we just put on. More highlighter. So I'm taking the e.l.f. baked eyeshadow and putting that on top of the highlighter we just put on because we are sun flowers are we missing something because i think i'm missing something the blue background so i'm going over the nude liner with my colourpop blue liner well i think we've achieved it not so fast. For the lips, I'm taking the same cream contour that we used on the face onto a flat brush that I'm using for my lips. I'm beginning on the middle of my bottom lip and the middle of my top lip. I'm going over my cupid's bow and overlining it a little bit, but I am not overlining the sides. And this is going to result in a little pout looking lip. Then I am filling in the corners of my lips. To really dramatize this look, I'm just going in directly with the contour. Bombs, bombs. Beats, beats. I'm putting a pink nude color in the center of my lips and then dragging that out to the edges of where I put the contour. Gloss! This one is a light pink nude shade from NYX. setting spray 
Voila, Emerald Glow does it again. Can you tell the difference? Because I can. She's literally a sunflower vase painted by Van Gogh. Now if you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe.